Hello, my name is Adrian Fulton. I'm originally from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I moved down here in uh, Louisiana back in 93. I fell in love with the people and the food, and I stayed. And I have the cholesterol to prove it. I know that there's <laughs> things out there, but I think there's a lot of good. And uh, that's really what I try to reflect in my art. I, I want to be able to reflect the the good things that's there. Because if you see a lot of my in my work, it seems like it's a lot of uh, chaotic uh, things in there. But where that comes from is when I was a child, I think we all sort of did this. We would look in the clouds and we would see different images in the clouds. And you can see what you want to see at some point. If you concentrate enough, you can see what you want to see. And we sort of Art is sort of like a puzzle. You got to make sure you do things in layer, layers in order for it to turn out to be something. You can't just haphazard. Even though my paintings look like they're haphazard, there's a, a method to my madness uh, to creating these portraits. Uh, these pictures, that paintings that you see here, are a result of years of just going through things. And one person put it aptly quite perfectly by saying that you got to know the rules before you can break the rules. And so with me, I, I do have a background in doing more traditional style work. I did mechanical drafting and, and that sort of, sort of thing. And I, I've, I've done classical paintings and, and I used to love doing the I, Renaissance uh, style. paint in a very different type of style. I used to draw more conventional artwork but I paint out in the rain now. I paint during electrical storms primarily. That's how I get this look that you see on some of my paintings here. I decided that I wasn't going to fight my antagonist any longer. I joined forces with my own antagonist, which the rain represents the antagonist. Uh, many good things can come out of uh, the, the relationship between you and your antagonist, like a paycheck or a career. So I don't, I, when I passed 40 and I got my middle age, I decided I wasn't going to let my blood pressure go up uh, by fighting my antagonist all the time. So that's really rem reminiscent or rep rep representative of my style of art. I'm, I'm grateful uh, and humbled by the experience that people like my work because it could be very well that, because I didn't know how people would react to this. I started painting out in the rain, throwing paint. I thought that they might look at me as that man that lost his mind. And he's just throwing paint and it doesn't look like anything. I have to throw paint and it seems that people seem to like it. So I'm, I'll continue to, to do it. Uh, I donated a portrait of Fats Domino to the LPB auction to be auctioned off. Uh, and Fats Domino and many musicians are inspirational to me uh, because first of all Fats Domino is an icon of, of New Orleans and I am stirred with this city and this region. I'm always, always down in the uh, French Quarter uh, on the weekends painting pictures by the fence. I really enjoy that. Uh, and I really enjoy being an artist here in Louisiana. I, I think that this is a lively and, and unique place out of all the 50 states. Uh, Louisiana isn't trying to be like every other state. It's just, it is what it is, like they say. <laughs>